Welcome to day 28 of 30 Days of Creativity. I am Pam Hammerling, and for today's project, we're literally doing something as simple as can be. Decorating or changing, altering our, a binder clip. Now, I know many days I've talked about, oh, this project's so easy, and I know I have misled you, and I apologize for that. And I know each of those days I've gone back and gone, oh, that was not as easy as I thought. But literally this is like three, three ingredients or that's, you know, I'm not doing a cake mix here, but it's, there's only three things that you need and it is, it's fast and easy. And so I hope that by day 28, I haven't completely lost your trust in the fact that I, I misuse or I overuse the word easy. So all you're gonna need for this project, we're gonna do these cute, we're just gonna make these cute little binders, binder clips. That's all we're gonna do right there. And you can use the big, this size, or you can use the smaller size that I have here, or you can use a teeny tiny size. I use, I think these are two inch, because I felt like it would be easier to show on camera. Um, but just use whatever you have. If you have any of these at home, how easy is that? So literally, um, I used book paper on one, map paper on another, and then the, the walk deli paper that I had painted and you know with my paintbrush on the other. So I have some examples here. I also thought this and um, the napkin paper, it's very thin, would be a good option. Um, a lot of deli papers, another matte paper, and then also the thin paper from a magazine, I think would be really uh, handy. I'm trying to see, I think, I honestly think scrapbooking paper would be too thick, but any other kind of tissue paper, I was just looking through the stash here, I think any other kind of um, tissue paper would be perfect because it's very thin and it would just go, you know, it would just glue right on. Literally, a binder clip, a, some kind of paper, and then uh, glue is all I used. You could definitely use um, tape. It would be a little trickier and maybe a little bulkier unless you had double-sided tape, then um, that would probably be a great option. Now, I have seen this same project. People use, um, and I have this whole little basket full of deli, of deli. This is not deli anything. This, I'm, I'm a hungry, it's time for lunch. It's probably what's going on. So sorry about that. This is washi tape, a whole little um, basket of washi tape. You could definitely, I've seen this, take your cute washi tape if you have some and, and um, cover your binder clip with, uh, with washi tape. That would be really cute and super simple. You wouldn't need glue or these extra paper sheets. So I hope you trust me. I hope that you try to decorate a binder clip and seeing how super easy it is. And I hope most of all, after 28 days, um, we are nearing the end. We are totally almost at the finish line. And I hope that you are starting to create a habit of creativity. If you have followed along, I hope that you have embraced um, and, or at least engaged in some of the activities that, that potentially could would be fun, would be, you know, like something new to try, would be, you know, pushing your, you know, boundaries a little bit, but also like, oh, I'm gonna rethink my um, my magazines. I'm gonna rethink, you know, some of my old things that I have laying around that I could use and repurpose into these fun craft ideas. Now, I, I'm with you. I, I didn't like, you know, making a necklace out of, you know, pop can or beer can tabs or something. I'm not, I'm not talking about ugly craft projects because there are plenty of those. So I hope that during these, honestly, I mean, you might think some of the ones I've done are ugly and that's fine. And, and But I really tried to not do anything that I wouldn't honestly do myself, that I honestly wouldn't have in my own home and that I honestly wouldn't, um, I, I wouldn't actually do. I mean, it's mostly everything that I've shown you these days have been things that I actually do in my real life. So a few of them I have, you know, haven't done for a while, but I have done and I really do like. So um, they were good reminders to me. But I hope that from this, 
that you've created uh, maybe a habit, a daily action of pulling, bringing in some creativity into your life at some level. Um, I just, I feel like it does so much for us and brings so much more than just the actual finished binder clip project. It, it, you know, it just, it, it changes our, the way we think, it changes our mood, it changes, it, it, it refocuses us onto other things. Uh, I, these little tiny um, projects can just do, do a lot to change um, our perspective, I guess is maybe the word. But I hope that through these days that you've got a glimpse of some new ideas and some new things that are possible. Uh, more than anything, I want you to find the creativity that is within you and that you will uh, embrace that and enjoy that. So thanks for joining me for day 28 of 30 Days of Creativity. And I hope you have fun with your binder clip project. So I've chosen to do the use the larger um, Find the you know the larger clips for this project. I think it'll be easier for you to see, and I think you know I those, these are the ones I would use most in my like art journal and different things like that. Also, I've just chosen three different types of paper to use. I'm going to glue it instead of using the tape because I feel like the tape is easy. If you if you want to get some washi tape and use it, you can just tape on tape those on, that would be easy enough um, to do on your own. So I'm using, one of them is the painted deli paper, wax paper that I use as scrap. One is a piece of map paper, and then one is a book paper. So I'm just gonna glue those on and I'll show you how I'm doing that. Um, so I'm using just my craft glue, and I think I'm just going to apply the the glue directly onto the binder clip. I think that makes the most sense. And then um, when I fold it inside, I might, I might do it different next time, I don't know. I might have to put it directly on the paper because I do want the paper to adhere all the way around. So, you know, so much for that one. I'll probably decide do I wanna use I'll probably apply it to the paper too. Next time I'll just apply it to the paper. See, it just goes to show you. You, can't, you don't really know what you're doing until you do it. Even though I have done this project, couldn't remember exactly how I did it. So there you go. Okay, um, so I'm gonna just take my paper, butt it right up underneath this edge here and then just wrap it around. Now, I already have glue on it, so now it's, you know, it's kind of getting glue everywhere. But, and I have pre-measured these so that they, they fit. They're, although this one is not seeming like it wants to fit. So, it might be smushed a little bit. Or maybe I put it on the wrong direction. But anyway, there we go. And then I'm just gonna fold these in. I'm gonna fold the bottom in first although you could do it however, and then these sides in after. And that paper is kind of tearing, but that is okay, because it would get the gist of it. Now I'm thinking as I'm doing this, if you really wanted to um, you know, make it more, you know, so it wouldn't tear, you could probably put Mod Podge or Matte Medium or some kind of glue over it, so then it would be really secure and it wouldn't, it would, there would be no risk of tearing. So there you have clip, cute clip number one, book paper. And you could probably, you know, distress this by adding ink or paint or something around the edge. So I'm gonna set this one over here. <music> There you have it, three binder clips that uh, were simple to transform into your own unique, uh, your own unique project. So there is no reason anyone can't do this one. 
So everybody has a book paper, everybody has a binder clip, and probably have glue. You could even use tape, I guess. Tape probably would be okay. But unless you're using just the washi tape to decorate it, that would be cute too. So anyway, have fun. Um, and I, you know, make yourself some cute binder clips. And um, thanks again for joining me for day 28 of 30 Days of Creativity. And I will see you next time. <music>